Hi, I'm Mary Poplin with Boris Effects, and today we're going to replace a screen using Mocha Pro the plugin inside of Adobe Premiere. We are going to replace this screen in track 2 with everything beneath it in track 1, including edits and effects. So how do I do that? First, I go into my effects menu and select Mocha Pro by Imagineer Systems and drag and drop that right onto my timeline on clip 2. I make sure I'm viewing my video at full res so that when Mocha reads my clip from my timeline it is reading an uncompressed clip. Then I go to my effect menu and click the Mocha button to launch Mocha Pro. I'm going to take my X-Spline and draw it around a section of the wall. And for extra stability, I'm going to draw a shape around this section of the wall using my Add to X-Spline tool. I'm tracking the wall instead of the TV because the TV is animated and the wall is not. And the wall is on the same plane as the TV. I'm going to turn my surface tool on and I'm going to align my surface tool to my screen. We're going to track perspective on and hit track backwards. I've sped the tracking up so you don't have to watch paint dry. However, tracking speeds will vary based on your GPU. Once our track is complete, we can check our track, make sure that it looks good. I can import an external file by hitting Insert Clip and Load, or I can use a layer in Avid to insert onto my clip. I'm going to use a grid real quick to check my track, but I actually want to set up an insert layer back in the Avid instead of using a grid, so I'll switch my drop down menu to Insert Layer. In the Insert tab, I can check Motion Blur on so that Mocha will automatically render motion blur back in the Avid. Now I have one more problem here, and that is her fingers actually cross the screen. So let's switch to None for my insert, name this screen track, and very quickly let's roto these fingers. I'm going to turn the gear off on screen track so I'm only tracking the fingers, and I'm going to hit track forward, and I'm going to hit track backwards. Let's trim our layer over here in the Layer Properties tab, and using the Auto Stabilize tool, I can actually lock my roto in the middle of the screen and quickly adjust my roto shapes. Now when I select Insert Layer, and in my Insert tab, I select my map for the fingers and invert it, I'll actually cut my fingers out of this screen. I can even select the spline, use the Uber key, and add some quick feathering. I can save and close this. Once back in Premiere, I can check the render box in my effects panel and leave the drop down menu on Insert Composite. I also have to define what video layer my insert is, so we're going to use Video 1 right here in this drop down menu. And Premiere will update my timeline. If I go to my transitions and drag, for instance, a BCC cross glitch between my two clips, that will then be updated in my insert. Anything I do to track 1 will automatically update to track 2's insert through Mocha Pro. Quickly editing this shot inside of Premiere is a huge time saver for my finishing workflow. So here's what that looks like rendered. If you have any questions, I am Mary Poplin and you can find us online at www.borisfx.com.